Hello, my name is Snorf, and you Nintendo Direct went live today. In this video, I will be rounding up all of the information that dropped from today's Direct. I will leave a link to both Directs in the description for you guys to check out, just in case you guys want to watch them again. Um, so, basically, Nintendo started off with the 3DS, and a new Fire Emblem game has been announced for the 3DS. Um, Puzzle and Dragon Z and Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition is also coming to the 3DS as well. This was previously announced for Japan. And they will come in a dual pack and they will both be released, or the dual pack will be released in May. Um, there will be a free 3DS eShop game called Pokemon Shuffle. Um, it does have micro transactions in the game as well. That's how Nintendo are making money from that game. And that game will be coming in February. We retail games are now coming to the eShop for download. Games supporting the class controller can also be played using the Wii U gamepad controller as well. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is available now. Punch Out is available January 22nd. And Metroid Prime Trilogy will be arriving on January 29th. Now those dates are for Europe. I'm not sure about um, in North America. For one week after release you can buy them for £8.99 or €9.99. After that they will cost £17.99 and €19.99. Now in the North American Direct, um, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse was shown off. In the European Direct, it wasn't shown off at all. I think that is because um, Kirby is supposed to come out in February in America, but apparently it's coming out in Europe in June or something like that. Um, so that's probably why we didn't see any Kirby in the European Direct. But in the North American Direct, when Kirby and the Rainbow Curse launches on the 20th of February, you can use Kirby, Meta Knight or King DDD Amiibo to unlock powers. Nintendo also announced the next wave of Amiibo. They will be arriving on the 24th of April in Europe and in spring in North America. The next wave of Amiibo will include Nez, Charizard, Robin, Lucina, Pac-Man and Wario. Nintendo also announced their first Amiibo range that isn't from the Super Smash Bros. range. Um, so the Super Mario Amiibo range was also announced. It will launch on the 20th of March alongside Mario Party 10, which will have a Amiibo board game mode. And um, in the, um, the new Super Mario range, um, it will feature Amiibo that have already been released, but in different forms. And those Amiibo will have the same usage um, as the um, Super Smash Brothers version. So the um, Super Smash Brothers version of Mario will have the same sort of features as the new um, Super Mario Amiibo um, in the Super Mario Amiibo range. So they will have the same features. Um, so the new Toad Amiibo can also be used to unlock new challenges in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker that will be coming in March. Splatoon was also shown off in today's Nintendo Direct. It will have its own Miiverse Plaza filled with Inklings based off of people from Miiverse. You can also share messages with them. That feature reminds me of Nintendo Land when you saw Miis walking around um, in between different game modes. That's pretty cool. Pretty pleased how um, Nintendo have done that with Splatoon. Also in Splatoon, you can customise your equipment to help create your own strategies in battle. You can buy equipment from money earned in online from four shops. Those shops are weapons, hat, clothing and shoe. These equipment will affect your stats as well. I will have a video coming up in the near future talking about some online multiplayer gameplay details for Splatoon. That was released um, before Christmas, so I will have 
a video talking about the online multiplayer side of Splatoon a more in depth look at the multiplayer side of Splatoon so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that I'm definitely looking forward to making that video just because I'm really looking forward to this game this game will be launching in May in um, America and Europe I've got a feeling that they will do the same sort of thing like what they did with My Car 8 and release Splatoon on the 30th of May that's what I think Nintendo will do also in the North American Direct um, the Haru Warriors Majora's Mask DLC pack was shown off now this DLC pack will be launching on the 5th of February and it will allow you to play as Young Link and Tingle I'm not sure why this wasn't shown off in the European Direct hopefully we will get it on the same date as people in North America Bandai Namco's Harada San is making Project Treasure a Wii U exclusive free to download 4 player co-op action game um, we really didn't see a lot of that game so it's really hard to judge how that game is going to be like I actually thought they were going to announce Tekken 7 for the Wii U then um, but who knows what this game is actually like we'll probably hear more details about this either in the next Nintendo Direct or at E3 a new Xenoblade Chronicles X trailer was shown that game will be launching in 2015 and the game looks absolutely incredible basically in that trailer you saw the characters just walking around in different settings within the game and the game just looks absolutely brilliant I can't wait to get my hands on the game for me Splatoon and Xenoblade Chronicles X where my main highlights from this Direct, really can't wait for those two games. Also in the Direct, Mario vs Donkey Kong Tipping Stars was shown off, and the game will be coming to Wii U and 3DS eShop on the 20th of March, and basically you can buy one and get a free code for the other. So it's like if you get the 3DS version, you can get a free code for the Wii U version, and say like if you get the Wii U version you can get a free code for the 3DS version and the main big announcement to come out of this Nintendo Direct was the fact that the new Nintendo 3DS and new 3DS XL was announced and it will be coming on the February or it will be coming on February 13th along with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and Majora's Mask there will be a new 3DS XL for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and that 3DS or that new 3DS XL will come with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate pre-installed and there will be a new 3DS XL bundle for Majora's Mask as well but the surprising thing about the new Nintendo 3DS is that the standard one won't be launching in America now that is the one with all of the face plates I don't understand why they're doing that, I really don't. I think Nintendo could have made a lot of money from that. Um, so I'm not sure why Nintendo haven't released that version of the new 3DS. I think they would have made a lot of money from people buying those face plates. Um, and the last thing that I need to talk about within this video is the fact that more Moth Amiibo will be coming in stock in North America later this year. And that is pretty much all I've got to talk about for this video. Other games were shown off like Ironfall for um, the 3DS. That's kind of like a third person shooter for the 3DS. And an Ace Combat game was shown off for the 3DS as well. Um, I wish that those games were coming for the Wii U. I probably will talk about that more in depth in another video. But I probably won't pick up those games for the 3DS because... How they were talking about it, it sounded like that the games were better played on the um, new 3DS, and I'm not really interested in um, those games or in that system at this moment in time. So, yeah, I probably won't pick up those games at this moment in time. Um, so, in terms of the direct, I thought it was okay. I thought Splatoon and Xenoblade Chronicles X were the main highlights. That's my main highlights from um, this direct let me know in the comment section below what your highlights of today's direct were 
I was hoping to see some Star Fox like screenshots or an, a trailer for Star Fox. And I was hoping to see um, Devil's Third as well, but I'm guessing we'll see that in the next direct. That's if it isn't a game specific direct. I've got a feeling that the next direct will be a Splatoon um, specific direct. So it could end up being that we'll hear more about those two games um, at E3. So uh, yeah, I was hoping to see those two games. That's going to be the end of this video. Tomorrow on my channel I will be doing a Q&A. So if you guys have got any questions related to today's direct, then make sure you leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll make sure to answer them tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, this should be a annotation on screen now. So yeah, I'm out of here for now. Goodbye.